Hello everyone, how are you all doing? So it's 27th February and I've got my chemistry exam today starting from 10.30 a.m. I'm really excited and looking forward to scoring maximum marks today and let's see how it goes. This video is mainly an experience video related to my board exam, what I'm feeling right now and uh, my experience with the board exam mainly. Let me show you the chemistry book. This is the organic book that is part 2 of chemistry and there are 5 chapters in this. Alloalkanes, alloarenes, alcohols, phenols, ethers, aldehydes, ketones, amines and biomolecules. These 5 chapters are there in organic chemistry and 5 chapters in the other book. So in total there are 10 chapters in chemistry that we have. So my revision has been done and I'm just getting ready now. I'll meet you after that. So I'm ready for the school and I'll meet you guys after the exam. Bye bye. So guys, I'm back from the school and my exam is over. It went pretty good and I'm really satisfied with my preparation, with the way I performed in the examination. So let's get into the experience of the chemistry board exam. So here is my paper of chemistry, as you can see. And it went really good, as I told you. I'm expecting more than 65 marks out of 70. If I talk about the paper, we had MCQs, we had two marker questions, we had three marker questions, we had case study based questions and long answer type questions. The speciality about chemistry is that the paper is never very lengthy because in most of the questions, either you have to write the chemical reactions or you have to solve the numericals, which are not at all time consuming. So all in all, I want to say that you can easily master the subject if you have sufficient practice, though I got two MCQs wrong, about which I'm feeling really sad right now. So most probably I'll get 67, 68 marks. That is what my expected marks are, which equals to 97 or 98 in the board exam, which is a great score. My English exam also went well, but chemistry has gone even better. So at 10, uh, the answer sheet was distributed to us. And at 10.15, this question paper, I got set 3, by the way. The people are wondering which set I had got, but the set 3. So at 10.15, the question paper was distributed and it was our reading time. So I just read the complete paper, you can see. I read the complete paper to understand what all questions were asked um, and to understand the paper and everything. After that, at 10.30, I started my paper with MCQs, followed by I did the three marker questions then the five marker questions and the case based questions and finally the two marker questions that that used to be my sequence even in the mock tests and i kept the same sequence as i didn't want to complicate the things the most interesting part was the physical chemistry's numericals they were to the point like in electrochemistry we had a numerical based on nurse equation and i has had as i had anticipated i mean to say and i felt really good uh, in chemical kinetics, there was a question related to half-life that 99% of the time is equal to 10 times half-life. Very easy question. Basic substitution and it was also given in NCRT. Organic, we basically had um, in biomolecules, basic definitions were asked. Glucose reacting with nitric acid was asked. DNA, RNA difference was there. There were two conversions also that I attempted. Then chemical equations we had to write. Hydroboration, oxidation was there. Williamson synthesis was there. friedel craft alkylation was there. rimer teeming reaction. In coordination compounds as expected, isomerism was asked. Electronic configuration. Then when we had to talk about valence bond theory, talking about hybridization and other stuff of the compounds and on. It was there. Electrochemistry had a good weightage as expected. There was a numerical, there was case study, there were MCQs, everything. And uh, there was a question based on A, B, C, D, E sequence in organic amines chapter, which was also pretty good. In DNF block elements, if I talk about as expected, a five marker question was asked. Same questions. Why zinc is not a transition element? What is lanthanide contraction? What is um, transition um, elements, catalysis process and all of that? Why are they good catalysts? Why are they colored and all of that? So MCQs were pretty forward. One was Canizaro based question. One was Rosenman reduction, vitamin C, ascorbic acid. Then manganese was there, highest oxidation state. Chemical kinetics was also asked. Um, basic alcohol, phenol, ether, reagents were asked, NADH4, LILH4. One graph based question was also seen from your chemical kinetics. Then we had nucleophilic addition of Grignard reagent. Assertion reasoning questions were a little tricky, little tricky, I would say. 
but they were fine like fructose wala question i got wrong i don't know why fructose is reducing sugar but i marked it b the answer was c that fructose does not reduce swelling and tolerance region which is false because it does reduce i thought that it's a keto sugar so it should not be doing but i was wrong i was wrong then there were definitions and arranging of the boiling point so if i try to conclude in the chemistry paper everything was tested physical organic inorganic weightage was somewhere or other equal um organic was of course preferred most of the questions were from organic and my paper went really well i'm looking forward to scoring maximum in other subjects as well and scoring the best in neat as well thank you